What's up guys, Mark Brown here, Chief Demo Pilot of Dyer Aerospace, the Kodiak Division. We're here in Orange County, California. We're gonna fly over to the Coachella Valley today and I'm gonna walk you through kind of just a day in the life of a normal flight. We do a lot of backcountry stuff, and uh, which is a lot of fun and really cool and that's what the aircraft was built for, but the fact of the matter is a lot of people only use this airplane to go from big airport to big airport. And we wanna showcase how and why the Kodiak can be a great asset to go these shorter distances, even if you're on nothing but paved strips. You gotta start your morning with some good coffee. We're here at 8 a.m. Orange County Airport. I'm about to load all this stuff up. I just wanted to show you guys before I packed it all in where I put all this stuff. So here we have the Executive Edition Package Series 3. I put a lot of stuff behind the seat. This is stuff that I need to grab uh, when I'm in flight. I usually put a cooler here. I put uh, my flight bag and then anything else I might need. Of course, we have these three huge cargo bays underneath in the cargo pod that can carry up to 750 pounds. And then walk with me back here, and then we have this baggage shelf. The cool thing with the Summit interior, I can move this seat all the way up and I have super easy access in and out with the bags. So once I get in, everything's set, I'm gonna go through this weight and balance page. The G1000 NXI makes weight and balance extremely easy. You can add everything into here. So I'm just gonna scroll through. I know my fuel on board is correct because I've FOB synced it. Then I scroll over taxi fuel. I'm not gonna worry about fuel reserves. I'm not gonna worry about pilot. 155 for me. Then we have Zach. We're gonna call him 160. Okay, we don't have any passengers today, but I do have a few bags back on that seat. So we're gonna call it 20 pounds in both seats. Cargo bay one, I have 100 pounds in that. Cargo bay two, I also have 100 pounds in there. And cargo bay three, I have 50. And cargo zone six, I have 100. TKS fluid, I have 100 pounds in there. So with all that stuff that we loaded in, and the two of us, plus enough fuel to go about two and a half hours plus reserve, which is roughly 400 nautical miles, I still have Oh, about uh, almost a thousand pounds of useful load that I could put in here. So we could theoretically put in three or four more people plus bags and, uh, and still be within weight and balance. All right, we're in the plane now. We got our weight and balance done, all the loose equipment's uh, up. We did our passenger brief. Now it's time to start up. So we're gonna tell the line guy we're starting up. And here comes on the ignition. 2124 wheels up at 27, void at 30. All right, ignition is on. Fuel pump coming all the way down. We're double checking we got fuel flow. Here comes the ignition. And we're looking for about 15%. Here comes the fuel. And we're just monitoring everything stays in the green. There we go, good. Everything's in the green. And we go ignition off, fuel pump to standby, auxiliary bus on, generator and alternator both on, lights as required, ice as required, prop is already full. Bump the idle up so we can run the air conditioning on the ground and then I turn my AC on. All right, we have information golf. So I have my trusty iPad connected to the Flightstream 510. And we're gonna just uh, upload the flight plan. We're going from John Wayne, Orange, Orange County, over to um, Cochrane Regional, which is Thermal, California, in the Coachella Valley. Uh, let's see here, we're gonna go send to panel. Grab it right there. That's the route we want, so we'll activate it. We may get a VFR clearance out of here that's something different, but for the time being, we'll just go direct. And just so we're clear, I'm gonna start the timer now. 
And I'm also going to start my trusty watch. And we'll time just to see how long it takes us to get over there. And for fuel, we have about 1,100 pounds, 1073. So we'll watch that. I'm going to take a photo of it just so I know timing wise how long it's going to get there. And we'll call up ground. Here we go. And John Wayne clearance, Kodiak 293 Kilo Delta, like to request a, a VFR departure to the east, please. Kodiak calling John Wayne clearance, say pass on again, and uh, what's your destination, sir? It's Kodiak 293 Kilo Delta, and we're going to uh, Thermal Tango Romeo Mike. Kodiak 293 Kilo Delta, turn left heading 080. Maintain VFR at or below, below 3000. Device frequency 124.1, squad 0224. All right, uh, on departure 080 on the heading, at or below 3000. And yeah, we're squawking 0224, and one more time for the frequency for 3 kilo delta. Kodak 3 kilo delta, device frequency 124.1, and just for clarification, that's a left turn heading 080 on departure. Left feedback is correct. Verify information, golf, stay parking. All right, left to 080, 124.1. We are at Clay Lacey on the uh, west side, and we a firm Gulf, 3 kilo delta. Could at uh, 3 kilo delta, contact ground 120.0 for taxi. Good day. Good day, thank you. And ground, Kodiak 293 Kilo Delta with Golf ready to taxi, Clay Lake. 293 Kilo Delta, John Wayne ground, runway 20 right, taxi via Bravo Kilo. 20 right, Bravo Kilo, 293 Kilo Delta. Taxi lights on so this guy knows we're ready to go. Here we go. Flight control check, flight instruments check, and brake check. Here we go. Galaxy Center, Golf Southside, John Wayne ground, taxi via Bravo to Clay Lake. John Wayne Ground Galaxy 999 Golf Pop Echo going to Clay Lake. And just double check 20 right, so we're going to make a left turn. Standard Golf Pop, Standard Golf Pop by taxi via Bravo parking. Bravo to parking, then Golf Pop. Kodiak 3 Kilo Delta, are you able to depart 20 left uh, at intersection Kilo? Hey firm, we can do 20 left at Kilo, 3 Kilo Delta. November 3 Kilo Delta, Roger, monitor Tower 126.8. Over to tower is 268, 3 kilo delta. Kodiak 293 kilo delta, John Wayne Tower at kilo, cross runway 20 right, runway 20 left at kilo, line up and wait. Cross 20 right, 20 left at kilo, line up and wait, 3 kilo delta. Alright, strobes on across the runway, clear left, clear right. Speed 89, contact go down departure. Departure, jet speed 89. Alright, flaps full, or excuse me, flaps 20, high idle, prop full, lights as required. And enunciators are clear, we're ready for takeoff. Oh, Dr. One Mike Bravo, traffic overhead, that's going to be continuing eastbound. Koyak, 3 Kilo Delta, traffic ahead, your left helicopter be passing over the tower. Runway 2 your left at Kilo, clear for takeoff, additional traffic miles south of the field, Cessna. Eastbound as well. Two zero left, uh, Kilo clear for takeoff. Uh, Two nine three Kilo Delta. All right, we'll bring the power up to the top of the green. Traffic ten o'clock. Rotate fifty five. Here we go. Climb out at eight seventy five. There's my 1,400 feet a minute climb profile. Got dampener on. And turning left, 080. All right, at 80 knots, flaps coming to 10. You get auto trim. 124 helicopter traffic inbound. We land on the taxiway off your right side, runway 20 right, clear for takeoff. And flaps up at 90, and we'll get auto trim one more time. Kodiak 3 Kilo Delta Ridge contact, maintain VFR at rule 3000, stay altitude. Climbing 900 for 3000, 3 Kilo Delta. Kodiak 3 Kilo Delta in traffic half mile north of UCI, Cessna, sound at 1500, contact with all departure. And that traffic on site, over to departure, 3 Kilo Delta.
departure Kodiak 293, Kilo Delta with you, climbing 1400 for 3000. 293, Kilo Delta, still got approach, resume on navigation, altitude your discretion, what altitude do we be climbing to? Uh, we're going to go up to 7500, 3 Kilo Delta. Roger. 3 Kilo Delta, traffic is departed ahead of you, 12 o'clock on a mile with Cessna at 1700, maneuvering. Get tight, 3 Kilo Delta. Alright, we're going to go flight level change at 110, and we'll go nav on, autopilot on, here we go, climbing 1500 feet currently. Cool, so here we are in flight, we're climbing through 3500 up to 7500, you know, roughly about a 1300 feet per minute climb. Now that we're in the climb and nothing's going on, I'll bring the prop back to 2000. And good climb speed's about 110 to 120 knots, indicated airspeed. Alright, just for reference, this is a 90 nautical mile trip from John Wayne to Thermal. So it's a shorter trip, but uh, should only take us about 30 to 45 minutes. A much longer trip by car. So in flight, since there's not a lot to do in a turbine, you just... Uh, monitor fuel. I, my right tank slightly lower than my left, so I'll just go ahead and turn off my right, burn off my left for a minute. And one thing to confirm is you get a fuel off right enunciator. So these enunciators are always good to check just to know the status of your airplane. Yeah, I'm going to check the train. Looks like at 7500 we should be over most of it. Alright, not much wind up here today. We've got about a direct 7 knot crosswind. So no headwind, no tailwind yet. There's your 200 foot to go call out. 73 climbing 75. And now my autopilot's leveling off. And the cruise flow is just double check your engine instruments. Everything looks green, we're in the green. And we'll reset our rudder trim just so we're more in trim. Yaw dampener's on, but we can retrim with the yaw dampener on. All right, now that we're in cruise flight, we're truing out about 174 knots, true airspeed. Number 3 Kilo Delta, contact approach on 134.0, good day. 134.0, good day, 3 Kilo Delta. All right, real quick, while we get a break, we're truing out 175 knots, true airspeed, zero headwind or tailwind, we got 11 knot crosswind. Approach, Kodiak 293 Kilo Delta, 7500. 293 Kilo Delta, so Cal Press on trail, number 3008. 3 Kilo Delta. 5552 approach 126.7. So 3008, reset it in both my main altimeter box and my standby here. And so Cal Kodiak 293 Kilo Delta, we'll go ahead and cancel flight following at this time. 3 Kilo Delta, Roger, Redis Instruments, Squawk Maintain V5 for change approved. The curse jumps on his active alert now. 3 Kilo Delta, thank you, sir. Alright, guys, so we've been in the air just shy of uh, 30 minutes, or yeah, just shy of 30 minutes. And uh, we still got about two hours to our range ring here. We're burning 350 pounds per hour, which give or take is about 48, 49 gallons per hour down at 7,500. We're ISA plus nine, so we're about 10 degrees, nine, 10 degrees above standard conditions. So we could easily do this trip uh, probably three times uh, without having needing to refuel. Um, and you guys saw earlier that we're, you know, we had a thousand plus pounds left for load. So we could really fill this thing up and be able to make this trip you know, three to four times uh, with on, on just the fuel that we have. So you can see a range ring here. So this is a 45 minute ring. We still have two, two plus hours, plus 45 reserve. Uh, we're burning 350 pounds per hour. All right guys, we're here, uh, we're in the descent, uh, descending down into thermal. Uh, we're descending about 1500 feet a minute uh, just to get over these hills. Quick flight over here. About to, end, about to enter the pattern, and uh, we're going to land on runway 1-2. And thermal traffic, Cody, at 3 Kilo Delta, we're uh, entering midfield left down on runway 1-2, citation on 3-5, uh, as I say. Thermal traffic, start on 5 feet of Charlie, middle flip, downwind, 3-5, stop and go, thermal. Alright, flaps coming down to 10 degrees. Flaps coming to 20. Alright, prop full. Flaps full, lights on, switches, fuel is on. 
clear final, clear runway. Thermal, Kodiak 3 Kilo Delta, we're uh, turning base to final runway 1 2, thermal. Landed thermal. thermal traffic, I'm going to uh, stop my timer here. Forty minutes from startup to taxiing off the runway, just shy of uh, thirty minutes flight time. Again, that was uh, about ninety nautical miles. And uh, let's see how much fuel we have left. We have eight hundred and sixty-two pounds. We started with ten seventy. We have eight. Well, at 860 left. So we burned 210 pounds. That was uh, about a 10, uh, shy of 10 minute taxi, 30 minutes of flight time over here at 7,500. So 2.3 pounds per nautical mile. And we'll figure out, and we'll put up in the trip stats, just how much this cost in terms of direct operating costs, as well as per seat mile based on the seats that we could have filled. Uh, in this Executive Edition Kodiak 100 Series 3. Alright guys, we're here on the ground safely in thermal. Nice little 90 nautical mile flight from Orange County. Took us just, just over uh, 30 minutes flight time to get here. And uh, this gives you an idea, honestly, this is how the Kodiak is used primarily from big airport to big airport. This airplane is a really efficient way to get from point A to point B. I hope you guys got an idea of uh, just what the Kodiak Series 3 is capable of. See you next time.